What's up Exiles, it's Hegemony, and I wanted to share with you guys my high level mapping strategy. Basically how I built up my map pool, what mods I was looking for, and how I approached the one month hardcore league. As you can see, if you go through my tabs, we'll mainly talk about the higher tier stuff. And basically I didn't start alking maps until they cost about 3 chaos each. And I didn't start chiseling them until they started to cost 4 to 5 chaos per map. And that's pretty much the guidelines that I used throughout the entire process. And as far as map mods go, I pretty much just avoided temp chains and any crazy amount of damage mods. Like if it was vulnerability with an elemental damage addition or if it was minus max. I didn't do any minus max maps and I didn't feel like I needed to to sustain. And as for Zana map mods, I didn't start slapping them on until tier 12. And the reason I chose tier 12 is because that's the last level you can find a cartographer box. So each time I ran a tier 12 map, it cost me 3 fragments so that I could get 5% bonus quantity per fragment. And 12 chaos for the Zana map mod for ambush. And it wasn't until I hit the T13 maps where I changed the Zana mod to domination. Because domination allows you to get pack size. You get extra monsters around a shrine. The shrines do help you tackle the map mods and the difficulty of the map. It, they only cost 10 chaos and you don't have to spend 100 to 120 alterations per map trying to fish for the magic monsters on each box. And that felt like it was necessary because you could get so much XP, plus ones, and all that jazz. So the demand for alterations just skyrocket every single time you ambush a map and everything that you see here is all like self-generated I did buy a few map packs the last map pack I bought was around 73 to 74 which I believe is the tier 9 and I'm pretty happy with the outcome of the way my map pool looks right now it's unfortunate that I died because I definitely would have liked to push it to the limit but I made some bad calls, I played through a thunderstorm, and that's just the way it goes sometimes. It is important to note that when I got to the higher tier map pool, I was vigorously trading for fragments and trade chat. I was constantly demanding cartographer chisels, you know, from my 1 to 3 chaos sales. So I did have a lot of mapping components stocked up so that when I went on stream, I wouldn't have to trade for it and things like that. But Overall, if you have any questions about how I handled my maps or how my map pool was going, feel free to catch me live on Twitch TV or you can post in the comments below. I do check those pretty often. And if you could do me a solid, feel free to hit the like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.